Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 1 assignment 1 answers of the course database management system. I will also describe all the questions, okay? And in this channel I will give all the assignment answers of every week in this course. So please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification when I upload the video. Now this is the first question which level of abstraction describes how data is physically stored in the database, okay? Now, if we see that in the physical level describes how a record or we can say the data is stored. Now, we can say that the physical level of abstraction describes how data is physically stored in the database. So, option A will be the answer. Now, question number two, consider the following SQL statements. Okay, this is the first statement where create table orders. So, we have to create a table of table name orders. Okay, now create table is a command of data definition query. That means DDL. And in the H2, there is insert into. So this is a command of DML, that is data manipulation query. So option A will be the answer. S1 is data definition query and H2 is data manipulation query. And now this is the proof. You can say that create table, it is a data definition language. And insert, if you see, then it is a DML command. Okay. So option A will be the answer of question number two. Now question number three, identify the correct statement uh, about database schemas and instance. Okay. Now, what is schema and what is instance? Now, first of all, we have to know what is schema and what is instance. So, schema defines the structure, while an instance refers to the actual data in the table. Okay. Now, here, if you see in the first option that student, then roll number, name, department represents a database instance. It is not true because it is a schema. Now, because here is no actual data. Okay. Here, the structure is given. Now, in option B, the actual data is given. So, it will be an instance. But here it is written that it is a schema. So, uh, it is not correct. Now, option C, here you can see that it is a schema because here the structure is given. So, option C will be the answer. And if you see option D, then you will find here CS101, it is an ID. And uh, database, it is also a, the actual data. So, it is, it is an instance. So, uh, you can see that uh, the proof that uh, the schema is there. And if you see the instance, then you will find that in the instance, the actual content is there. Now in question number four, consider the following international universities admission data. Now here the university admission table is given. It is a relation. Now we have to identify the valid primary key for the relation university admission from the given instance. So we have to know that uh, the primary key is a unique identity. Okay. Uh, now, if you only see the university, then here you will find that there is duplicate. Like University of Delhi is uh, two time, ETH Judith is two time. And if you see student ID, and there is also duplicate because 2023 CS101, here two, three, uh, 2023 CS101. So same ID, same student ID is given. Now in the student name, there is also uh, duplicate. Ria Sarma, Ria Sarma. Okay. In the country, there is also duplicate. This is India and this is also India. Now Switzerland, Switzerland. Okay. In the admission year, there is also duplicate like uh, 2023, 2023, 2023. Okay. Uh, so that's why we have to consider two columns at the same time. Now, what will be the best option? If you consider the university and student ID at the same time, like in the University of Delhi, there should be one student with this student ID, okay? And in the ETH Jurich, there can be a student with same student ID, but they are in the uh, different universities, okay? University along with student ID will be the primary key, okay? So that's why option C will be the answer. Now question number five. So this is the question. Now which of the following is correct, okay? So this question came in the previous uh, session's assignment, okay? So if you see that, the same question is given here. In the previous session, the same question is given, okay? If you see that option D is the correct answer, okay? Now here, uh, the same answer is given in option C. So option C will be correct. Now in question number six, consider the relational schema student grade. So this is the uh, relational schema. Now if the following tuple exists in an instance of student grades, then which of the following tuples cannot be inserted into student grades, okay? So the answer will be option C. S101, CS101, B and Spring 2024. Now question number seven, consider the following table. So this is the table or we can say the relation. And now this is another relation is given. Now identify the correct options which produces the following output from the above relation. In the option C, if you see there is sigma length greater than 6500 revert details. That means those rows will be selected where the length of the revert will be greater than 6500. Okay. Uh, from the revert details, it will be selected. Now if you see the revert details, there you can see in the Amazon, and in the Nile, in these two cases, the length of the river is greater than 6,500. Okay. 
so option c will be the correct answer now in question number 8 there is two table given one is river details 1 and another is river details 2 now identify the correct operations which will be produce the following output from the above two relations okay now in this uh, the river name is ganges and volga and the length of the river is given and the country is given okay if we write option d that is river details 1 union river details 2 then what it will give okay see here if we write this, then it will give all the river name, all the um, uh, distinct river name along with their length and the country. Okay. And if we write this river details 1, intersection river details 2, then it will give this. Only the common names. Okay. Ganges and Volga. Okay. Now, if we write this river details 1, union river details 2, then intersection river details 1, uh, uh, intersection river details 2, then it will give the uh, output. That means this output it will give. So, option D will be correct. Now, question number nine, which of the following can be a candidate key for the following instance? Now, if we consider the country here, in the country, you will see that there is uh, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. So, Brazil is three times there. Okay. So, that's why it will not be a candidate key. Now, if we find that length, then here you can see that 2914 and 2914. So, uh, same length is given. So, it will not be the candidate key. Now, if we uh, see the option D, that is country and length, then also you can see that uh, in the country, there is Brazil and length 2914. Brazil 2914. Then that means it will not be a candidate key. Okay. But if you see the river name, then here you can see that all the river name is distinct. Okay. There is no duplicate river name. So that's why the river name will be the candidate key. Okay. So for question number nine, option C will be the answer. Now coming to question number 10, consider the following table. So this is the table uh, and the relation name is river details. Okay. Now we have to select or extract only river names and their length. Now how to extract? Okay, we have to do projection. Okay, so projection of river name and length. Now what the river name and length will give? Uh, river name will give this column, that is river name column and length will give length column and from which, from river details. Okay, so this is the relation which is river details. So from river details, it will select uh, the two columns that is river name and length so option b will be the correct answer for question number 10 so please subscribe the channel if you get some help from this video and we will see you in the next video thank you for watching the video